back to Houston County with the national events that have unfolded in the last few weeks. WDHN's Allison O'Connor wanted to see how teachers are handling it with their students. Here's her report. The last few weeks, we have seen history be made that will be talked about for years to come. But how are teachers explaining this to their students? Here's what one local U.S. history teacher had to say. Teenagers, you know, they understand what's going on in the country right now. They, they you know, they get it from their parents and they watch the news. And, and mostly this has kind of affected them uh, in a lot of ways. Randy Meadows is an early United States history teacher at Rehoboth High School. And with the events that have ensued since the general election, Meadows found himself answering lots of questions with history knowledge. St students, of course, have a lot of questions and, and, you know, anxious about a lot of these issues, not only the election, but all of the things that have been going on, you know, the virus and the racial unrest this summer. And so, uh, you know, to, to be able, it's really been good for a history teacher to be able to bring in some uh, and, and get kids more interested in, in what's going on now by, by showing them how these things have happened in the past. After the riots that occurred at the Capitol on January 6th, Meadows explained that many kids were concerned about the next step for our country, but luckily he was there with the answers. Um, is there the possibility that the new president won't take office and, and asking questions like that because they're unsure. And so, uh, you know, as a teacher, it, it's, it's good, you know, to have your students interested in what's going on so that you can answer those questions. As history continues to be made, our teachers will always be there to answer any questions their students have. Covering Local News Hearst in Rehoboth, I'm Allison O'Connor, WDHN News.